hello welcome back if this is the first video you are seeing in this uh, playlist please can you go to my youtube channel look for a playlist titled igcs in mathematics paper 4 3 may june 2024 there are four videos there for questions one two three and four question five the diagram shows the graph of y equals to f of x for values of x from negative three to positive three so use the our graph to find f of 2 so when x equals to 2 okay so you want to come here so from here like this okay so this part here okay so it will be the corresponding value will be this so that is uh, exactly on 3 sorry I didn't take that very well so it should be on 3 if I take it like this perfect okay so that will be uh, f of 2 equals to 3 from the graph so it will be 3 okay so um, Roman figure 2 use the graph to solve the equation f of x equals to 5 so let's go to where y f of x is y don't forget so that means we need to go to where y equals to 5 okay so y is equals to 5 here so let's draw a line so y equals to five here yeah. okay good so that means we have three spots here three values this this and this okay so this will be the these values will be the answers to that uh, question so we have negative two uh this is uh two point four and this is negative 1.1.4 1 as well okay uh, sorry so let's see this one this will be 0 0.4 okay so these are the answers we have here let's scroll down and write our answers so we have negative uh, we have 2.4 for the one on the right hand side then we have um minus that's negative 0 0.4 then negative 2.4 as well okay so these are the three uh, negative sorry negative two sorry negative two yes so that is correct so we have negative two negative 0 0.4 and we have positive 2.4 okay so that's correct okay so let's go to the next question so that would be uh, roman figure three so the equation f of x equals to k has exactly two solutions write down the value of k so let's go to the grid so where can we get exactly two um, solutions so it's here so this particular line okay sorry this particular line Oh, sorry let's take that again so i think um you can hold down shift okay so let's have this exactly so this is correct so um we have one solution here and we have another solution here so exactly two so don't be confused okay by this okay because the graph continues okay like okay here 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 is up to infinity so um don't mistakenly select a point here like immediately after this so maybe from here so like this okay so that will be very uh, wrong okay because uh it appears to be this and this but this does not end here so that is never this is never correct okay so it will be at this particular point that is when uh y equals to three so that is where you have uh exact two solutions okay so at k equals to three so you have uh the solutions to be exactly two okay so Roman figure four um choose the correct word from the box to complete the statement so the line x equals to zero is the dash to the graph of y okay so let's go when x equals to zero so that is um you have this 
okay this line that is um, x equals to um, zero okay is this vertical line x equals to zero here okay so you see that if you draw the line it will not touch the graph here so if you scroll down again so it will not touch the graph here too so that is the asymptote okay so is the asymptote so you can write the asymptote here okay um part b Roman figure one on the grid draw the graph of y equals to x minus two for uh, values of x from negative three to positive three that is y equals to x minus two so let's go back to the grid so you know that um, let's write here y equals to x minus two so uh, intercept on y axis is negative two and the gradient is uh, my, uh, one over one it means uh, you jump once move forward move up uh, move up once and run forward once so that is what we're going to use so let's start from the intercept on y axis which is negative two so we have negative two here so that's the first one so if you move up once okay and run forward once so another one will be here move forward once okay so run forward sorry i think uh Okay, yes, correct. So move forward once, then uh, move up, move up once, then run forward once. So and that will be here. So and so on and so forth. So you can just come here to the same thing here. So it continues like this. Okay, you can just have all these set of points. Okay, and so on and so forth. So and that one. So we can easily draw this like this. It goes like that. So you have these, these, and somewhere here okay so that will be the uh equation y equals to x minus um two okay so we have done that let's see the next question so we are asked to run figure, be run figure two find x when f of x equals to uh x minus two so that is the intersection uh, don't forget that the first grid okay is f of x as well so where the two graphs meet will be the solution so let's come here okay so they meet here so that is x equals to one so at x equals to one but c f of x equals to x squared minus c over x where x is not equals to zero use the graph to show that c is equals to positive two okay so f of x equals to the graph okay so let's go to the graph so you can pick a point okay along uh, the graph here okay so let's pick this point here x equals to negative one and y equals to three so you can use that point so let's put the values there so in negative one comma three so f of x equals to y and that is three equals to s squared negative one squared the minus c over negative one okay so this will be c equals to one okay this and this will be plus um well, uh, that's positive then you have c okay so you can just for that light times three minus one equals to c and uh, c is equals to two okay c equals to two so alternatively um you can use this okay so let's say alternatively so you can say f of x equals to x squared minus c over x so don't forget that f of x is, is also equals to x minus 2 so you can have x minus 2 to be equals to this now x squared minus c over x so the implication of this is is that we have to find the point where these two graphs intersect and in that case if you come to this so the two graphs intersect here that is at x equals to one so you can only use one here okay so since you are using this approach the only value of x you can use is one so it will be one minus two will be equals to one squared minus c over one and if you uh, simplify this it will be one minus two equals to one minus c so if you rearrange Okay, so okay, let's do this. One minus two will be 
minus 1 equals to 1 minus C. So if C goes to the uh, left hand side, it will become positive. So you have C to be equals to, then you have 1, then negative 1 goes to the right hand side and becomes 1. So we see how C equals to 2. So when you use this approach, so the value of X can only be 1. But if you use this approach, you can take any value of uh, X, you understand, like a point uh, from the graph, okay, from this graph of x squared minus c over x okay so you can easily do that okay part d the equation f of x equals to x minus 2 can be written as this find the value of p and the value of q so we need to get x uh, cube okay so that means we need to multiply this by x squared so let's see what we have here so that means there is something we can do okay with this so let's write that f of x is also equals to x squared minus c over x. So if you write this, f of x equals to x minus 2. So we can substitute our x squared minus c over x for this. And it will still be equals to x minus 2. So but don't forget that the value of c is equals to 2. So that means we have x squared minus 2 over x equals to x minus 2. So we need to linearize by multiplying each of these by the denominator by the LCM of the denominator this one is like over 1 over 1 over 1 so the LCM is X okay so let's multiply each of them by X so if you multiply this by X so this will be X cube if you multiply this by X so the X will cancel the X we are left with negative 2 because to multiply this by X you have X squared multiply this by X you have negative 2 X so if we rearrange Okay, so let's rearrange here. So it will be x cube. Then let's bring 2x to the left hand side. That will be positive 2x. Uh, sorry, we need to bring x squared first. That will be uh, minus x squared. Then we need to bring 2x. That will be plus 2x. Then minus 2 equals to 0. But we want to write it to be uh, in form of this. That means 2 has to go to the other side. So we have x cubed minus x squared. Then plus 2x equals to 2. So you can now compare this and this now. Okay. So by comparison, you see that uh, the value of p is equals to negative 1. So p equals to negative 1. Then q okay, will be equals to positive 2. 2 so p equals to negative 1 and q is equals to positive 2 okay so uh this will be the end of my solution to question 5 so in the next video i'll solve question 6 until then have your fingers crossed as usual